Another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can add images to your iOS app. So a part of that is actually bringing in an image to your project, and the other part is actually adding the code to show it. So with that being said, let's fire up Xcode and get right into it. So we're going to do a new project. Single view app is totally fine. Call it what you want. Save it wherever you'd like. And let's run the app, which will be empty. And while it's doing that, let's expand this window to give ourselves some more room to work. And let's go to our storyboard first and foremost. So an image is considered an object uh, similar to everything in iOS. And the actual view where the image is displayed is called an image view, uh, which is pretty appropriately named, I would say. So let's, uh, let's actually hit this up here to open up our elements selection window. Let's search for an image view. Once we've found one, we can drag it onto our screen, which is our view controller. Let's drop it here. Now we want to add constraints to it. If you're not familiar with auto layout, uh, just follow along. Uh, I'll be doing other videos on auto layout, but it's a little out of scope of this video, but let's come down here, tap on this. And let's do, I don't know, 200 by 200. And let's tap on this corner one. Whoops. Let's tap on this one, what I meant. And let's do vertically, horizontally in container. And once we hit that, we'll see it's centered, pinned right there. Now let's run this. And you'll see something that's a little unusual if you're not familiar. Uh, there's nothing here. So here we see we have this image view we added, but where's our image view? So an image view is actually empty unless you actually put an image in it. So we need to add an image to our project and then we want to show it here. So what we're going to do is let's expand this rather. Let's make this smaller. Let's contract it. Uh, let's open up Safari and let's search for an image. Let's do car image. Now, full disclaimer, I'm not encouraging you to pull images off of Google. Um, they might be uh, copyrighted, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to exemplify it. So let's go to images. Let's find any image and let's drag it to our desktop. If it lets us, Google's a pain sometimes. So you might need to switch images like that. Um, cool. So what type of image is this? We can check it by looking at the extension. So this is a JPEG. So let's go ahead and close Safari. Now let's go to the file, which is called assets.xe assets. And this is basically where all your image assets will go. So let's right click in here and do new image set. Let's call it car and a little bit of explaining needed in here. We have these three slots for one X, two X and three X. What this basically is asking us to do is provide this image in three different sizes. So if the first, the smallest image, the first one is 50 by 50. It wants 50 by 50, 100 by 100, 200 by 200. And the reason it does this is to support various iPhone screen sizes. So like the retina displays, the newer phones, the older phones. There's a bunch of ways you can get around this, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to supply one image and we can drag it in just like that. Cool. So let's, uh, let's expand this again. If I can grab the corner like that. And let's go back to our storyboard. Now what we can do is we can click on this image view, come up here and specify the image. So we called it car and it shows up actually in here. So we can put that right there and our car shows up. So let's run our app and we should see our car. Well, that's awkward. So let's, uh, so we're seeing this here. And the reason we're seeing this instead of this image is because car is actually a built-in uh, icon into iOS. So let's go back to our assets and give this a different name. Let's call this my car. Let's go to main storyboard again. Let's click on this. Let's change this to my car. Let's run it again. And we should see this instead of Apple's image. Cool. As expected. So, not only can we set up images in storyboard, but we can add an outlet to this image view and assign it through code. So let's actually do that. Let's actually come here and remove this. 
And let's go to our view controller. Let's add an outlet. And it's going to be an image view. And we're going to say this image views image if we can spell image today, is gonna to be a UI image, and it's gonna be named my car. And I believe that's all we need to do in here. And before I forget, let's go back to our storyboard, and let's connect our outlet. So we can open this, right click our controller, and drag from image view to image view. And let's run it again. We can see that there's no image in here, but from our view controller, we can specify it. Now, another thing to note, which is interesting, is this image view is a square, but this is showing up as a rectangle. So what gives? So let's go back to our view controller, and let's actually set a background color to this so we can see the actual um, bounds, the frame of the image view. Okay, so that makes more sense. So the actual image view is a square, which is red, but the image isn't taking up the entire space. And the reason you can kind of uh, infer is because the actual image in our case is a rectangle. If this got stretched out, it would get distorted. So this brings us to the topic of content mode. Image views have content modes which can specify how you want the image in the image view itself to look. So you can distort it. Now you can also say to continue filling this image, in other words, expand this bigger and bigger until this entire rect is filled while maintaining the aspect ratio. And there's a couple different options. So the way we set that is we can do this dot content mode. And there's a couple there. Well, there's actually more than a couple. There's a bunch in here, to be quite honest. And we're going to take a look at there's scale aspect fit, which is what we are seeing right now. But we're going to see fill and if we run it again we will see that now this is a whole square. We can't see the red anymore and the image is not distorted, but it is cut off. So let's see, what else do we have in here? There's scale to fill. Now this is gonna scale the entire image to fill the square, but it's not gonna maintain the aspect ratio. So our car looks like a smushed car. Um, we can also set the frame of this image view in here. Uh, we can set various other properties. We can set the frame. We can set um, the border on the layer. We can set any property like any other view. You can subclass image views to create your own custom views. You can specify an image from the internet. Uh, in other words, you can get a URL and load it in and load an image in here, similar to apps like Instagram and Facebook. But yeah, that's more or less how you add an image to your iOS app in Swift. You can do it through storyboards and code. If you liked the video, found it helpful, please do hit that like button below. It helps the video and channel out a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I do regular videos on Swift, iOS, software engineering in general, other tech stuff along the way. Uh, leave a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.